Okay, so now that you know what direct proportion is, I'm going to show you how to test for direct proportion. Now first, just a couple of word examples on direct proportion. Um, does the direct proportion exist between these variables? The height of a stack of photocopying paper, height, and the number of sheets N in the stack. So piece of paper stacked on another piece of paper, stacked on another piece of paper, stacked on another piece of paper. The question is, does the number of sheets of paper affect the height of the sheets of paper in a directly proportional way? Oops, that should pass through the origin. Okay, let's test it out. If I have zero pieces of paper, will the height be zero? Yes, that makes sense. Zero piece of paper, the stack of the papers is zero. If I have one sheet of paper, it'll be a little bit higher. It'll be the height of one stack of paper. If I have two sheets of paper, etc. You can see that as I increase the number of pieces of paper, the height is going to increase by an amount, and it's going to be that same amount each time. Um, that seems pretty straightforward. Let's look at the second one. Um, does direct proportion... Oh, I'll finish this off by saying, and this is the exciting bit, H is directly proportional to N. Okay, what about this second one here? Your mathematics mark and the number of hours of maths homework you've completed. So here's my mark, and I can get like somewhere between 100% and 0%. And homework, I can do one hour or two hours. So they look the same. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, etc. Now, the question is, if I do zero hours of homework, will I get 0%? In my experience as a maths teacher, probably not. If I do zero hours, my mark won't be particularly high, but I probably won't get 0%. Maybe I'll get 20%. Um, now, that means that whatever line we draw, and it might be a curvy line, or it might be like a bent line, or whatever, it's not passing through the origin. And you know from the previous video that the direct proportion has to pass through the origin. So we can say that M is not directly proportional to N. So a couple more examples we can look at. Now this time it's not a word question, it's just looking at a table and deciding whether um, their direct proportions or not. Okay, we've got three examples here. A and B are tables, and C is a graph. So I might just change my background here so we can have a bit of fun with this. All right, so looking at this one, now the first point is 0, 0. So I can mark that on my little graph that I've just created, 0, 0. All right, this is looking promising because it passes through the origin, and we know all direct proportions pass through the origin. 1, 1. 1, 1, uh, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, uh, the next one is 3, 7, the next one is um, 4, 15, which is like way up here off the page. Now what you can see is that it's not a straight line. I've got to draw a curved line if I want to get there. So this is not proportional. If we compare it to this one, 1, 5, 2, 10, 3, 15, 4, 20, we can see that it's going up in a pattern. So I could go one more and it could be 5, 25, and I could go one more back and it would be 0, 0. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to do another one. We can see that it's going to be 1, 5, 2, 10, 3, 15, 4, 20. Now we can see that it's a straight line. And if I draw a straight line through there, not very good, but you get the idea. It passes through the origin, and I end up with a direct proportion. So I can say, and this is the exciting bit, that N is directly proportional to C.
Finally, if we look at this one, we can see that yes, it passes through the origin, but it's a curved line, so it's not proportional. All right, so whether you're looking at word questions uh, like, like these ones, where you need to think a little bit about whether you think those two variables are proportional, or whether you're dealing with just plain old numbers, uh, if you turn it into a graph and it passes through the origin and you can see that it's a straight line and it's directly proportional, if you end up with a curved line, no good. All right, that's spotting direct proportions.